we are getting ready to go into Dollar General. Uh, it's Tuesday, so we're going to do some penny shopping, uh, or we're going to try. I, I doubt there's many yellow dot toys left. Uh, because I think I've got them all at this point at 90% off but we're gonna go take a look just the same um, if you don't know about penny shopping uh, basically once a week the Dollar General stores get a list from corporate of items that are gonna be discontinued and uh, removed from the shelves and so by Tuesday of the following week they need to have those items uh, removed from the shelves or per their policy they have to sell them to you um, and the register will automatically ring them up as a penny because they're not supposed to be sold technically so um, yeah uh, I don't talk about it much on my channel because there are experts that that get the list each week and I don't have a contact like that so I just don't you know talk about it too much but um, there are other youtubers out there you know you can just search penny list and, and come up with a bunch of results um, one of them is suburban beard uh, he puts out the list every week and he does a good job of giving you visuals of what's gonna be on the list um, so if you don't penny shop um, I mean if you've been couponing for a while you've probably heard about penny shopping at Dollar General by now but if you haven't that's you know it's a good uh, thing to do to score some extra stuff so this week's list is gonna be a lot of toys so we're just gonna go take a look and see you know what we can find um do not ask dollar general employees about penny items you are not supposed to uh talk about it it's kind of a you know first rule of fight club is we, we don't talk about fight club so just don't talk about it in store um yeah so anyway take a look if you've never heard of penny shopping and take a look at some other people's channels and see what you can come up with um but we're gonna go ahead and go in here and see what we can find uh hopefully something to show for it Fingers crossed. Okay, so I did a deal that I thought was kind of a glitch. I saw it on Instagram and I wanted to try it out. Um, and I think it was a fail. We're going to have to see. Um, let's look at the receipt together, but it feels like I paid too much. So I'm going to look at it, but ugh, I hate it when that happens. So the, at the top there is the Febreze Shimmer uh, Air Refresher. It was $4, $4 regular price. The Febreze Fabric was $4, and it, uh, uh, it took $4 off of the first one, so the first one was free. The second one... The Febreze Air Shimmer was $4. There's a discount of $150. That was the store discount. The Febreze Air Shimmer was $4. Store discount of $150. A 
Okay, 1102 just doesn't seem right. I was supposed to pay three dollars for four Febreze. So four plus four is eight plus eight is sixteen. So it did not take off the two dollars off of twelve uh, Febreze cents digital coupon so that didn't come off the 150 came off of both of them and both of my did both of my four dollars come off no only one of my four dollars came off that's the problem why why did only one of my four dollars come off maybe i had already i bet this is the problem because we had these uh febreze unstoppables coupons the digital coupon last weekend i bet i already used that coupon on this account which is mine and I have one on David's account but I used my account today I bet that's what happened because I'm pretty sure I got two Febreze Unstoppables last weekend I think that was the, pro the problem so uh, yeah that's a fail on my part I forgot that I'd already used that coupon and didn't check to make sure it was in there so stupid um, but that's, you know, that's real life, guys. Couponing is not always good. And I'm not going to go return these uh, because it was my mistake. Now, if it had been a mistake on the part of Dollar General, then, you know, that would be another story. I'd have to go in and, you know, either return them or figure it out. But um, this was my mistake. So <laughs> just got to live with it. Just got to eat that cost. So there should have been, um, yeah, I, do, I don't know why the two off of, 12 didn't come off because clearly I spent uh, enough of yeah I spent over 12 on Febreze so that's a bummer too um, but yeah I was expecting to pay about $5 because look I bought those snowflake brownies on there you can see that for $2 and I was expecting to pay 3 for the Febreze and I had two penny items so roughly around five dollars and I'm missing six right or I've, I've added six I'm at 11.02 um so yeah minus six would have been 502 which should have been the correct subtotal and then I would have paid tax on top of that so what a fail today sucks um Maybe I can put these uh, Febreze into like some bundles and sell them or something and make some of this money back. I'm just so, uh, so disappointed. But in happier news, I did find this yellow dot toy. It's a wooden bead set uh, with Finding Dory. You can make a, you can read the book and create a little Dory necklace. Um, so that's kind of cute. I might give that to my uh, niece for Christmas. And I also got this, which is just like the tiniest little thing, but hey, a penny's a penny. No penny left behind. So I got this. This is the magic candle light, and it lights up, uh, blow hard from top for light on or off. What? No, you can't. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> yeah, that doesn't work. But there is, thankfully, an on-off button on the bottom oh and it did work maybe it needs batteries it did work in the store when I checked it because I did check it before I bought it because uh, I'm not that crazy but anyway it's got little stars inside and the boys can put it in their room so hey a penny's a penny guys more baking so oh my, look at my hair um yeah the glitch deal didn't work out today sorry I have to talk kind of low my sun is just down for a nap um yeah we're getting ready here to uh make some homemade buckeyes if you are not from ohio um a buckeye well first of all buckeye is our state nut is it a nut um state tree flower something uh it's a little i'll put a screenshot up it's a little brown nut thing and it's got a tan center and it looks like the eye of a deer like a buck deer so that's why they call it a buckeye and as you probably know we are uh our biggest college here is the ohio state university 
and uh, that is home of the Buckeyes, the college football team that everyone seems to be crazy about. I don't, I don't know football. Um, but yeah, so for a long time, people have been making them into candies, uh, a lot around Christmas time, but just any time of the year too. Um, so it's a ball of peanut butter to simulate the tan part, and then the outside is chocolate. It's pretty simple. It's just peanut butter and powdered sugar and butter, chocolate. That's basically it. A little bit of vanilla. So we're going to make some now. What are we doing? We're uh, making ornaments for, for our Christmas. Christmas tree. Oh, let me see yours. Uh, Ta-da! <gasps> Ta-da! You made we that. Got this I'm, bell. I'm not yeah. finished yet. You're working on your ornament. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, this just kind of happened impromptu. My wonderful mother-in-law actually um, got us three of these last Christmas or after last Christmas. Um, holiday art jars and they have like a ridiculous amount of stuff look at this this is the little booklet that comes with it over 100 holiday craft projects I have no idea what this costs but um this is like uh they've got harder ones that are more you know nicer for around the house like these little photo ornaments and stuff you could give as a gift but you'd want to you know kind of monitor that more closely but then they've got super easy ones that are just stick on you know, stickers and foam and, and markers and stuff. And it's just real, real simple. So it's, you know, for all different age levels, uh, different projects and crafts that you can do. So, and this is what our dining room table, I don't want to say typically looks like, but it's typically. So over here is my keyboard uh, that I have not used this week and practiced looking super sad. Um, this is the art explosion that has just occurred. This is folded, at least it's folded, laundry. Um, down here is a cat, homework, uh, coupon binder, toys. So that's that's pretty much, sometimes it looks nice, it looks really put together, but today's not one of those times. Cool. Look at this everyone, we got giant stuff. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna glue it. No, you're not gonna glue it. 